I'm three on your side's Gary Harper. You know, no one likes getting a bill that's just totally wrong or a bill that you don't even owe to begin with. Well, that's exactly what happened to a Glendale woman when she recently received her cell phone bill. And get this, the amount she owed was $235,000. What is it like getting a bill for $235,000 that you don't owe? Well, it, it's, it's kind of shocking. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but it's true. Lori Schultz and her husband have been fighting a $235,000 T-Mobile cell phone bill for five months. It's like every time I talk to him on the phone, I get, I get so upset and it, it's, you know, he's afraid I'm gonna have a heart attack or something because I'm just, I just get so upset by that. Lori says the billing issue initially started way back in September when she went to her mailbox and pulled out a T-Mobile bill for just under $125,000. Most of the charges were for equipment, for example. It's like, oh my gosh, I got a phone bill for $125,000, you know? And it's and just like- And you laughed at the time. Yeah, I laughed, because it's like, this is obviously, obviously a mistake. Lori says she called the cell phone company countless times to say the bill is fraudulent, but she says she gets nowhere. Then recently, that bill grew to an astounding $235,000. Lori says she couldn't believe it and says she sure is glad she didn't have automatic bill pay. Can you imagine? Any amount of money she had in her bank account would have been wiped out. And now Lori says the problem has gotten worse. I think it came in September, but it was the bill for August. She recently went to the mailbox and found T-Mobile had mailed her this final notice demanding payment of around $222,000. Now, it's unknown why the amount is lower than the initial $235,000, but still, Lori says it's outrageous. Well, yeah, because it's not being taken care of. It's been five months and it's not being taken care of. And the customer service person keeps telling me, oh, no, you're not responsible for this. You know, I've been told that numerous times. I have to say T-Mobile was extremely responsive once I contacted them and they are currently investigating. I'll let you know exactly what happens in a follow-up report. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.